Expression of eloquence. Accumulate the amount of damage dealt by follow-up attacks by allies. When this damage about raises 100%, deal a set amount of damage to all enemies. Cacophony. Follow-up attacks dealt 50% more damage, and this effect will be triggered one at a some time after triggering when Sicality's effect. Flattery. When ultimate deals damage to the enemy target, it will be considered as a follow-up attack. Hey, yo. Whenever a character hits an enemy with a follow-up attack, all allies' actions are advanced forward by 14%. Wow, okay. So I can skip all the way to three. So fire, imaginary, mostly dot stuff here. So there's a lot of wind and a lot of a whitening. But this one's also a lot of wind and a lot. I think we use, I think we use the dot team on part two. Us do we have? Oh yeah, so we need to win ultimate deals damage. Okay, yeah, we want that one on... We want this one on the team that uses Jingli. So this I do have where... Um, Duranian, Sparkle, and Jingli. This is a dot and a ratio fiction. Uh, well, my ratio is not very well built yet. I, mean, I could probably fit him in instead of Sparkle. I'm not getting rid of Jingli though. In a way I get rid of Jingli, I was brute force with her. And I definitely will be using the dot team on this one. I want to use Flattery there. And I think we'll use Spiel here, but no. That's the only, uh, the only follow-up attack I have there is Kafka, so I should use this one too. And we use Flattery on both. So Kafka, Papa, Run Mate, and Black Swarm. We don't want to use Han Mate on the team that's a brute forcing. So yeah, th this'll work. This'll work. Let's give her a shot. We deemed a Hydrate. Yo, I love Nas. My can's empty though. <laughs> What's with this loving screen? Yo, I can't believe I have no hair right now. Deliac is sub mean. Show your courage. Watch this. The moon on the truth. What is with this computer lacking so hard? <laughs> well, take that off, take that off, take that off. I did exactly what I would have done for the first couple attacks, but it got off. All will be revealed in the lunar flame. My girlfriend Sparkle, dude, she is so f***ing cute. I love her. A quick divination. This battle is unavoidable. Bring Jing Liu forward. No matter. Uh -huh. Do I get a turn? What the? F I should not have used her thing yet. Oh, we're full skill points. Whatever. It's fine. Monk is dead. Get out of here. I see through you. Converge and awaken. Human creations. Smash them with Fusion. Mess girl. Get this girl. Must protect. If you leave Hushuan, I will bonk you. Lend me your strength. Trust. We've entered the storm. To guard and defend. To guard and defend. Them. I also love, uh, love Brani. She's very cute. Stand down. They're pretty. Later, all will be revealed. And then her flame. Oh, look at all that damage. A trotter still lives, what the heck? Nation. Get out of here, trotter. Troublesome. Yes, Branya, cute too. Let Bring Jingyu forward. Ready for death. <laughs> Bringing me forward. There's go point back. Find the answer. I lost Don't her state this. because God. I need that. Lend me your strength. Tedious. 
Let's play for Bringing me forward. I'm dead. The, the, not all the way forward, but you know, close enough. It's fine. Stand down. I do wish Sparkle's thing was all as good as Brahma's, but I mean, I understand light can't be. Can't have Sparkle be too powerful. She's already quite powerful, you know. Ran out. I mean, my goal is only to hit 60k by the end. Crush them. Bring Jing Lee forward. Bring Jing Lee forward as far as we can bring it. Can you find the answer? I see through you. Converge and awaken. Human creations. Phase one. Nowhere to run. <laughs> All will be revealed. Really can get the monkey Hello this time. Flame. It's another turn, but I don't think I can get Jingli another turn. Yeah, we can't bring her forward for now. That sucks. Who's bad? What I have. So, we brute forced about half of our score requirement, which means we don't have to do near as much with this team. This is what I was expecting. Does that hurt? We should easily be able to hit 60k with this. Eternal. Oh. <laughs> Relax. Every that all son of a bitch the before he takes away my my uh energy. Give me strength. Thanks. You're too Give good me to me. strength. Waffle, you are adorable. Good times. Time to say bye. Um. Riven, hey yo, welcome to make the Grand Maya joke. Who is pinging me? Y'all streaming, quit pinging me. There's Talk to me line. in chat. Stand still. Destiny. Hey, that thing disintegrated. Bye. Straight put. Cutting the net. Why is Wabwal on knitted the same? Because I don't know, I just like her there. I'm very picky with my team placement. Like if they're not where I'm used to them being, things so weird. I'm very ADHD about that. Or OCD about that? Something CD about that, I don't know. Some kind of D. I don't have a skill point. Relax. Or devils. I'll crush them all. Every petal all will be swept away by the wind. Good times never last. Did our allies ghost bane mean disappear? Time to say bye. Oh no, it, no, it makes it... it Golden's a different model. Say bye to breathing. Also, this model got saved without the cat ears and with the demon wings. Wow. That's so weird. I think it's... I think the model's a glitchy. What the heck? Why is it doing that? It's weird. Enjoying yourself? What do you want to it's know? so dirty. I think we're good. Ill tidings manifest. I don't have the skill point for Fafa again. 
Good times. Time to say bye. Boom. Am I a bob? I like this. I don't want to be... I don't want to have a bob. Good. You made me look like an old lady. At least give me my twin tails back. Or my cat ears or something. But give us and I'll come and suck you this now. I am half demon. And confirmed. I have no skill point for Pop Bug. I am great at saving skill points for her. Rep the energy. I think it's add a cheap one from then. I mean Maya, oh god. B.O.B. So they're calling me Maya. What? There's more to Oh wait, 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 wait. Yeah. Dug it? What 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 does B.O.B. stand for? <laughs> I need to know. Enjoying yourself? Every petal I oh, need you to tell me what does B.O.B. stand for? This Maybe is the one of the life. Come on, be honest now. What does DLB stand for? Good times. Time to say bye. As long time ago, I, I, I knew a variation of BLB that was a little dirty. Oh, hey, we hit 60k points. Wow. It's over. No, I had to try anymore. It's over. We got it. Three stars. I mean, that's kind of kind of lackluster for a pure fiction three, but I mean, I'll ever. Yeah, we got the previous stages too, Pug. All right, so what's in four? Ice on this stage. Ice can break all of it. Good, so we can jingle you this team. What about this one? What the f is this thing? Oh, it's serious. And the lightning can break all of this, so we keep the same teams. Yeah, yeah, we'll just keep the same teams. It's fine. Well, actually, Maya, it was a fine. We spent days, and I mean days, working on this. Various teams, various combinations. We leveled a whole ass new character. We built Herda. Yeah. So we're doing things a little bit differently in this one since I recorded this off stream. I'm just gonna put some commentary over top of it and give some guidance as to like how I did this. Some of these I strategies were very yeah. particular in how they had courage. to be executed. But we managed to get the clear. So here we go. Okay, so first and the foremost, the most important thing was to do this very first bit here in a very specific order. This first wave. I had to do Sparkle's skill to bring Jingli forward, use Jingli's skill, go straight into her ult and skill. Then bring her forward with Branya, and then use Fruzwan's skill, because we needed to prepare an alt for Fu. The reason we wanted an alt for Shu is so that we could trigger... What's it called? Flattery? I think that's the... I'm just going to call it Flattery. If it's wrong, it's wrong. We needed to trigger Flattery at the end of this wave, so what we would do is we would prepare Fu's alt, we would use Jingliu to wipe out these last couple of mobs, specifically those three. And then we could use Fu's ult here. This is the last wave. And the flattery would cause the follow-up attack box to drop down and boom. Now we're on wave two. Now for wave two, at the very start, we targeted the... What's that thing called? The warp trotter? To guard and defend. And we wanted to get back into Jingli State as fast as possible. Stand down. Which was easy because of how we had things set up. I purposely repeat. not target the trotter so that we can cleave one of the stronger ants on the edge. With her ult. But then the box dropped down. I wasn't expecting that. So we got a basically a whole new wave of ads anyway. And it didn't really help all that much anyway. But it's whatever. We cleared through this wave pretty easily. 
Down there, Ogo was making sure the Trotters died, but as many of the other ads died in the process. We didn't want to be stuck with just the regular ads if we didn't have to, but that kind of backfired and I had to ult the Trotter by itself at the end. So, you know, he does what it is. The main goal was to start the final wave with an exploding box, which we did, thankfully. Now, we still wanted to get at least one ult off on Sue during this final wave and kill as many flowers as possible. I did contemplate trying to kill a deer and even attempted it a few times. But anytime I tried it, it didn't really work out all that well, you know. There was no way to actually kill the deer with this setup. I just didn't have the power for it. So, I had to prioritize flowers. Thankfully, we were able to get another free ult here to help build charge for the box. That really does help. But other than that, it was mostly just skill point management, building up Jing Liu, knocking down the flowers, trying to get another box or two, getting as many points as humanly possible. All will be revealed in lunar flame. Lend me your strength. Can you find the answer? I see through you. I'll go easy this time. And ultimately, we did pretty decent. Now we had to do about 35k on the other side to make up the difference here. You might look at this team and be a little sass about it. Now running Casca, Erda, Ranme, and Black Swan, there's no sustain in sight. I would love to run Wapa in this team. But every, petal every one of these four members the contributed more to the clear than she did. I did try her several times. I tried her in place of every single one of these characters except for Kafka. I never sub I never substituted Kafka out. I tried basically every combination of Kafka and the other four with each of the little buff things when we ultimately settled on Blarney. Follow-up attack damage was 50% higher, and the little box would drop down twice in a row. It was pretty neat. Some value, I suppose. Arda and Kafka obviously were the big winners in this one. Part of because, you know, follow-up attacks, <laughs> and Kashka because of her... Whoop. Now, I... The reason Kafka worked so well for me, I believe, is because of solitary healing. Light come. Everything that dies and has her dot on it, she gets extra energy from it. And every time I use her ult, she'd basically wipe out the entire wave and get about half of her ult back. Stand still. Okay, maybe not half more of water, but still that's a lot. Time to say bye. Wait, no, it ain't that being a being a half. I'm done, don't pay attention to me. Anyway. Yeah. Kafka and Herda were the heavy hitters. Ron May really enabled the two of them. And like the cases where some of the mobs would have just like a little bit of HP left. Or Arcanum would go boom when they took her turn. Black Swan really did a lot of a, a lot here. I tried to do this with Wahua instead of Black Swan, as I said. But I could not get anywhere near this efficiency. 
I had to run with specifically this setup to have any hope of getting the 60k. All will be swept away by the wind. And even more importantly than running this team, even this team could not do it if I didn't play this last way very specifically. I had to interrupt their attacks as much as possible, which basically meant whenever Sirius had a turn coming up, I needed to have a cask of ult to counter the enemies so that they could not just wipe me out in I've wet to this enough to know how hard these mobs hit. And let me be the first to tell you, and they hurt. They hurt a lot. See, Black Swan is hurting really bad right now. If I wasn't prioritizing interrupting the enemy, she'd just be dead by now. And probably one other member would be dead. And by 50%, the other two would also be dead. It was very rare for me to get past Damn. 50 without interrupting the enemies. And even have? then, I needed a good run to get all the way through. Time to suffer. Good times. Time to say bye. Boom. By the time I had realized how good of a run this is, we were already at the 50% mark. It just kind of crept up on me. I had no idea. I was just so focused on making sure my characters survived so that I could keep hitting the mobs. Like, not just hit them, but, but to make sure I broke them so that I could keep them from hitting me and, you know, I wouldn't die so that I could keep hitting them. And, well, something was going very right. It was at about this point that I realized how good of a run this was. And then it felt like it was just a few seconds later that the run ended. It just crept up on me like, what? But even then, I didn't neglect anything. I, I may as well have been on autopilot. I even did Ron May's ult at the end before Kafka's skill. Kafka absolutely could have killed that one mob by herself. But no, I used Ron May's ult. And looky here, we have the results. And thanks to the tireless effort of Herda and Kafka and Jing Liu and everyone else, we got the three star. And it was finally time for me to claim my rewards. So I said earlier, this took days. Here in the video, you're only seeing a delay of a few seconds from Pure Fiction 3 to Pure Fiction 4. But for me, it took many, many, many hours of trying different combinations. Don't unheard of. Because this one took a bit extra effort compared to the others, I'm including the builds of the characters I used. So here you go. Enjoy. Like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Free to play, by the way.